The Lob City Clippers were one of the most exciting teams for me growing up, man. When Chris Paul got his trade denied to the Los Angeles Lakers, man, and ended up still going to LA, but the Clippers, it was super, super interesting, man, because Blake Griffin had just become an offer rookie of the year. They had a dude in DeAndre Jordan who would go on to be a really, really good player, or even an all NBA caliber player, and they had some solid pieces, man. Now, those Clipper teams never worked out, whether or not it was because of them choking or because of injuries. They never were able to just get over that hump and get to the NBA title, man. So, in today's video, I'm going to try to get that for them. I'm going to try to rebuild the Lob City Clippers into the title contender they should have been and see if we can make a dynasty throughout the LeBron era. So, we think up here October 24, 2011, bro. And again, the Lob City Clippers were one of my favorite teams growing up, bro. I love Chris Paul, of course. Even today, I think Chris Paul is semi-underrated, bro, in NBA history, just for the simple fact that people now talk about him. Like, I ain't going to say like he was a bum. Like, people know he wasn't a bum. But he really doesn't get that respect that he deserves anymore, bro. Um, And, yeah, so we're going to try to rebuild this Clippers team. Now, the weird thing is I didn't know which season I wanted to start with. I decided to start with the 2011-2012 season instead of the 2012-2013 I mean, season simply because I didn't want to have, like, J.J. Redick and Jamal Crawford and Matt Barnes and all of those players because the Clippers would have been tied down worse financially with those players, man. And this one, we actually can rebuild this team. Now, this team is super interesting. I know I don't have it perfectly down. And then also, there's going to be some NPCs on here. But I do know they had Baron Davis at the time. I also know they picked up Chauncey Billups after their Nuggets let him go, bro. And we're just going to start from scratch with this team and try to build them into a title contender, bro. Again, we starting off good with Chris Paul and Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin being one of my favorite players of all time. DeAndre Jordan famously making the All-NBA team. DeAndre Jordan was like the 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 poster child for how terrible the centers were at the centers were at the beginning of the 2010s, man. But let's go to get into this rebuild. Uh, I don't think I want to do anything other than trading Baron Davis for like a decent cent backup center right now. The simply views and being is we have two really good point guards right now, Chauncey Billups and Chris Paul, bro. So we can get like a shooting guard. Trevor Ariza wouldn't be great. I mean, it would be great. Of course, later on down the line, they would pick up J.J. Redick, bro, who led the league in scoring, like, first quarter scoring in multiple seasons. You got Al Harrington here. Ben Gordon also wouldn't be terrible as a scoring guard to put next to Chris Paul. Leandro Barbosa, Odi Alming, a younger Ruben Lopez. But, again, we have a good center already. I really was looking for more of a backup. And I think we're going to probably take this Trevor Ariza offer, man. I think Trevor Ariza would be a solid addition. He's still fairly young. He's on a good contract, only making six mil a year. So, yeah, let's go to make that happen, man. Other than that, we're going to go to hop into this simulation, start this season going, and seeing if we can build this team, bro. In the first season of our rebuild, Russell Westbrook is your rookie of the year. Wait, no, this is your MVP. Why would he build rookie? Kyrie Irving is your rookie of the year. Mo Williams is your sixth man of the year. D12 is your defense player of the year. And Ty Lawson is your most improved, which he probably was in the running in, uh, in one of them seasons where him and Kenneth Fareed were just going crazy on the nets, bro. I wondered if we get Chris Paul on the All-NBA team. We did get Blake Griffin with a 27-12 and 12 season. We get Chris Paul here with a 2012 season, man. And I'm probably, we probably are not going to see DeAndre Jordan. DeAndre Jordan is most likely going to be a trade candidate for us, man. And you see the Clippers versus the San Antonio Spurs, bro. So this was a matchup that never happened in the playoffs, I believe. I know the Clippers lost to the Rockets when they were up like 3-1 that one season. It's 2-2 right now with the San Antonio Spurs. It's, they losing seven. How was game seven? Uh, Chris Paul had a good game. Blake Griffin and, like I said, DeAndre Jordan. He has 16 rebounds and two blocks, but he's probably going to be a trade candidate for us. But that's a good first season for us, man. OKC versus Golden State, which you know we've seen a million times in real life, it seems like. And it's looking like the Oklahoma City Thunder are going to win the NBA title, bro. But now the rebuild really starts with this team right now. So let's get into it. So we're here at the draft lottery, man. Why do we have a pick for Minnesota? I don't think we should have a pick from Minnesota. Hopefully, yeah. I was going to say, hopefully, I mean, yeah, I don't think we should have a pick from Minnesota. Um, We have number seven. I guess we're going to have the seven overall pick now, bro. I did not trade for a pick from Minnesota. Maybe I did. I don't remember. But, hey, man, I'm not going to take it. This 2013 draft is terrible anyway, bro, outside of really Giannis. Like, Giannis is going to go first overall. He's the, well, Dame is going to go first. Though. No, this is not the Giannis draft. That's, that'll be the next season. This draft is not terrible at all, bro. So, Anthony Davis still ends up at Timberwolves. Timberwolves, congrats there. None of that matters to me. We have a high overall pick that we can now spend. So, let's see who we can get. Draymond Green is here. Chris Middleton is also here. Festus Azili. There are some interesting prospects here. I don't know who we should take. Draymond is between Draymond and Chris Middleton. 
Draymond, we have Blake Griffin, but he would be a solid piece. I think we're going to go Chris Middleton, though, just because of what we need as turn in terms of a team fit. So we are going to go ahead and draft Chris Middleton. I don't know if we have a, se a second round pick. We do right now. So let's see here. All Will Barton would be a great pick. Tyler Zell would also be a, a solid pick at this point. There are some players left here who can actually be contributing people. Will Barton, man. We see Tyler Zeller there. Is there anybody else that I maybe want to pick? I think I'm going to go with Tyler Zeller here. That'd be a decent backup center for us for this entire video if we need him to. And yeah, well, let's get one of them Zeller twins, man. So we're already doing better drafting than the Clippers would have done around about this time. We luckily that Chris Middleton kind of slipped to us. I'm definitely going to sign Tyler Zeller, bro. Again, he can probably progress up to a solid center. We have to re-sign Chris Paul, it looks like. We do not want to re-bring back my boy Willie Love. Yeah, I don't Yeah, we not bringing him back, bro. I don't know who that is, man. Qualifying offers, nobody's there. Again, we have to resign Chris Paul. That's our biggest number one thing right now. A million people are going to offer him. We don't have enough money to offer him. So we're going to have to clear out some cap space. So we're going to be moving whoever this 72 overall Kenneth Boyd is and probably taking back no type of cap. Protect the first round pick right there. It wouldn't be horrible. It'll be 15 million. We want to take back almost no cap. Two first round picks from the Lakers right there. Get it done. Again, as long as we can bring back our boy Chris Paul. I mean... We could offer him, nah, nah, nah. This is the Lob City Clippers, bro. We're going to make sure we keep Chris Paul on this team. We're going to give him as much money as he want. We're going to give him a team. I mean, a player option. We cannot give him a no trade clause. Hopefully, he resigns that. If he don't, I'm going to just go steal that man myself. And Chris Paul will agree to the resign on that contract that we have offered him. So, let's make sure we get Chris Paul. Now, how much money do we have left? We could bring back Chauncey Billups, who was solid for us last season. There's really no other great options there either. So we will bring back Chauncey Willis on a three-year deal. He will probably will not stay the entire lift of that three-year deal. We'll probably look to trade him. I will bring in Kirk Heinrich also just so we'll have somebody, some depth and somebody to trade eventually. And we will be bringing Ryan Hollins, who they actually you picked up in real life if you do not know, man. So, yeah, that would be a decent offseason for us. Let's head into the next season. So, Blake is up to a 91 overall, bro. DeAndre Jordan is up to a 87. Chauncey Billups is down to a 82. Trevor Reese is up to a 78. We just drafted Chris Middleton, who we're probably going to turn Trevor Reese into a small forward and just start Chris Middleton. So, the team has a lot more depth than the previous season, and we should be fairly good going into this next season. So, this is the trade I'm highly considering. I'm thinking about trading for Rudy Gay, right? Rudy Gay would be the perfect player to slay or slot right between... You know, we can bring Trevor Reeve off the bench. Maybe we can keep bring Chris Middleton off the bench. We He would be the perfect player, right? We don't really need Chauncey Billups. Darren Collinson and Tyler Hansbro would be good also, bro. Darren Collinson to replace Chauncey Billups. But I think we're going to take this, this Rudy Gay. This is around about the time Rudy Gay was getting passed around the league like it was no tomorrow. <laughs> like, this is around about the time. If you do not remember, bro, Rudy Gay used to get passed around the league like there was no tomorrow, bro. Chris Middleton is going to probably come off the bench for his first season. I do want to give him the most minutes off the bench, though. Like, I do not just want him. I want him to be our sixth man, bro, because he's going to progress fairly good in this video. If he can get close to, like, 30 a game, that would be perfect, bro. So, we get 20, we get 36 to Chris Paul, 31 to Rudy Gay, 37 to Blake Griffin, bro. This should be a really good team for this year. I don't know how our backup death would be right now, bro, but this should be a solid team. So, let's see what we can do, man. So, in the next season, Derrick Rose with 32, 5, and 10. Anthony Davis is rookie of the year, bro. Jose Calderon is your sixth man of the year. I honestly thought we could have got that with Chris Middleton, bro. Like, not no lie. I thought we could have got it. Dwight Howard ends up in Washington just a little bit earlier than the usual. Kawhi Lynn is your defense player of the year. And Scott Brooks is your coach of the year, man. So, I wonder how good the Clippers were. Chris Paul and Blake Griffin both make all NBA teams, man. You love to see that right there. We have DeAndre Jordan on the all-defensive team, man. So, how has he been? He's up, to, he's up for a contract next season. Let's see if he's going to earn it. I mean, 10 and 12 and three blocks a game is really pretty much all you can expect from DeAndre Jordan. Bro. Again, if we get a trade that we like, I might move him. Again, speaking of the Clippers, this is one of the teams they match up with in real life and then lost to, bro. <laughs> this is the, the Rockets, man. They do not have James Harden in his universe, so maybe we can get past them. And they do. So now you get to take on the Portland Trailblazers. You got a decent Trailblazers team for this time, bro. And the Clippers will lose in seven to them. But we progressed so far. We're progressing. They lose by 20. Jesus. Blake Griffin had a good game. Chris Paul, Rudy Gay. Rudy Gay, we didn't trade for you to go five for 21, bro. Chris Paul, seven for 14. That's cool, man. Let's see if the Thunder repeat. And it's looking like we're going to get the same matchup. And the Thunder will repeat, man. But the Clippers are progressing fast. 
Now, this is that terrible 2013 draft I was telling y'all about. Um, I don't think there's anybody here we should even like think about moving up for, bro, to be honest. Like, Giannis is here, of course, but we're not going to get all the way up. Rudy Gobert, maybe. If he slips, you might think about that. If Rudy Gobert slips to around about 10, we can definitely think about that. CJ McCollum might be a decent pick for where we're thinking about picking him and where we're picking at. But I do actually want to go to about 10 picks, bro, because if Rudy Gobert is still there at 10, we can pick Rudy Gobert. We can trade DeAndre Jordan. They're essentially are going to fill the same role, and we can get some more players back from DeAndre Jordan, man. So, again, in real life, nobody knew what Rudy Gobert would turn into, just like nobody knew what Giannis would turn into. Zach McCloud goes there. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but, hey, man, if it works for you, it worked for me. Cody Zeller, so the other Zeller twins get drafted. I mean, the other Zeller twin gets drafted this year. And the funny thing about the NBA draft in real life, Orlando still gets Victor Oladipo. You love to see that. The funny thing about the NBA draft in real life is you almost never see, like, trades. Like, in the NFL draft, you see dudes go from being 20 to, like, second overall. And it's not, like, something super crazy as Rudy Gobert goes. So, there goes our pick right there. We'll get to about 10. Again, we're going to see who's at 10. And once we get to 10, we'll probably look to trade with the Lakers. All right. So, we're here at the 10th overall pick. And anybody else still on the on the board that I might you know I might want to try to try to take a little bit of a look at Otto Porter. I mean these dudes ain't even. Come on, bro. Look, come on, do me better than that. Steph Curry is here. Roko like dice. There, none of these dudes are worth moving up for. Hopefully, Dennis Schroeder like drops us. That'd be a perfect backup point guard for us, man. So let's see who who ends up at our pick. And we should be on the clock now, man. Let me. Can I can I draft my pick, bro? Please, y'all go let me. There we go, my guy. So, Michael Dennis Schroeder made it, and that's going to be the pick right there. That's going to be a perfect backup point guard for us for a couple seasons, man. You love to see it. Now, the question becomes, do we, do we have any type of money? <laughs> no, we do not. Do we have any type of money? No, we do not. Kyle Korver could get a sniper. Could get a sniper. Uh, Like, none of these players are really going to want to be. They're not, none of these are going to be great it, like upgrades for us right now. Like, Zaza Pachulia. Give us a one-year deal. Kyle Corver, come on. You come on a one-year deal. Hopefully, we get both of them. We can use them in some type of trade. We might bring Carl Landry back just to trade him. Kyle Corver got signed by somebody else, so that's that, that sucks for me. We'll bring Carl Landry back just to probably look to trade him. And then Kirk Heinrich, if you want to come back on a, on a minimum deal, we'll bring you back, bro. So, you love to see that right there. But, again, there's not a lot we can do. We're paying so much to our three big stars plus Rudy Gay, man. So, that's pretty much all we can do. <laughs> so, we're going to do this trade right here. We're going to move on. Both of them, same age. Brooke Lopez has two more years on this deal. Lower overall. But we're going to take somebody in the front court, man. We're going to, we, that next team, he's like, okay, look, DeAndre Jordan's been good defensively. We don't need Brooke scoring. We'll take Brooke we'll take, we'll take Lopez. Now the team looks a lot better. We're going to also trade Mack White and Kerry Conry. I do want to give Dennis Schroeder some minutes coming off the bench as our backup point guard, bro. Lou Williams as a six, man. They did get Jamal Croft in real life, man. So... I mean, Lil Mirrors are real life. Lil Mirrors are real life. Y'all mean, again, y'all mean should probably be retired at this point. Daniel Gitts and Sebastian Telefair. Chris came in to be a really good backup point guard. We do have to give up a first round pick in 2016, but that's cool, man. Like, we, we gonna be good by then. You know, we straight. So, the newest starting lineup, Chris Paul, Trevor Ariza, Rudy Gay, Blake Griffin, Brooke Lopez with Chris Kamen, Chris Middleton, and Carl Landry's getting traded also. We do not need that many small forwards, man. And again, we've built this roster to not only a good position, a great position, this is the title contender right here. I actually would love a first-round pick for Carl Landry because we don't actually have one for this year. <laughs> so the Brooklyn Nets are going to give us one. But, yeah, we don't actually have one for this year. But this is the team, and this is going to be a pretty good team in my opinion, man. So let's see how that go. I do want to give Dennis Schroeder about 20 minutes a game, and we're going to give him 22, 22. Chris Kamen, you can get about that. I want to give Chris Middleton about 28. And, yeah, let's do, this is the green. We should be pretty good. Let's see if we can get that title this year. Oh, D Rose gets back to back MVPs. Giannis gets the rookie of the year. Baron Davis is your sixth man. Maybe we should have kept Baron Davis, bro. <laughs> Bradley Bill. And the Wizards were the best team in the league. They did pick up Dwight Howard a couple seasons ago, man. So, you know, it's kind of understandable. Blake Griffin makes the second team. Chris Paul does not make any All NBA team. DeAndre Jordan would make an All NBA team once he leaves, though. The basketball guys, you know, they, they definitely. They're definitely interested, man. The Clippers were a one seed, though, so they should be fairly good. Let's see what the player stats are looking like. You're getting 20 and 20 from your front court, man. Chris Paul took a dip down in scoring, mostly because Brooke Lopez came over down and scoring is down by six points, man. Rudy Gay putting up 13. Dennis Schroeder was a great pick for us with 11 and 4, bro. Chris Kamen was great also with 10 and 6. You're getting 10 and 
what, 10, 3, and 4 from Chris Middleton off the bench. And then, like I said, Trevor Reese is really just out there for defense and cardio, bro. <laughs> like, we're, been, we're eventually going to replace it with Chris Middleton in the start of the lineup, and they lose to the AFC to Lakers. I love 2K simulation, especially with these older videos. They Lakers picked up D'Angelo Russell. No, that's Dante Russell, definitely. Yeah, I love these older simulations, bro, because it's just whatever reason, the AFC always wins randomly, man. So the Sacramento Kings will win the NBA title, bro. Love to see it. All right, so one of the trades I did a couple seasons ago actually worked out for us as we now have the 15th overall pick. We also traded our pick to the Grizzlies, so yeah. <laughs> but I forget exactly who I traded with the Lakers for, bro, but we do have the Lakers pick in this draft, which you love to see. I don't know which draft this is, bro. This is probably the Andrew Wiggins draft, if I remember correctly. Let's see how good my basketball knowledge is. It is. And this is a fairly deep draft, if I remember correctly. Marcus Smart on the other end, I mean, on the end of that. Bogdanovich, Clint Capella. Is there anybody worth trading up for? I wouldn't mind trading up for Zach Levine. I'm going to let the first four play, fit, pits play off. Because you got Julius Randle here. You got Aaron Gordon. If we can, we're about 15. If we can get some movement right there, if somebody slides like a Zach Levine, like a, I mean, Jokic is going to go first overall, and B's going to go second overall. If we can get like an Andrew Wiggins to slide, as I say that, he doesn't want to slide, bro. Come on. If we can get a Zach Levine to slide out of the top five, Joel and B. So I'm, I'm begging you, Milwaukee Bucks, do not take Zach Levine here. Do not do it. And they took Zach Levine, man. So. I'm going to choose one of Zach, um, Julius Randle or Aaron Gordon, and then we're going to take one of them. You love to see that. Dario Sarge goes right here, man. So Aaron Gordon may slip a little bit more, and there we go. So we're going to go ahead and pick up Julius Randle and make a trade with the Orlando Magic for him. So we're going to trade our 15th overall pick, Sean Williams, for Orlando's pick, bro. You love to see that. And we're going to go ahead and get on the clock, man. Let's get into it. Choose prospects. So a couple of players here we possibly could look at. Bought down by Donovich will be... Nice small forward. Clint Capella would be a decent backup center, but we have Chris Kamen for that. TJ Warren would be a decent forward, but I did want to go ahead and just pick Julius Randle. I think he'll add some more depth to our bench. Again, we're not going to have any money to ever really spend in free agency, so we have to make sure we hit on all our draft picks. And Julius Randle was a pretty good hit. Now, I would have preferred Aaron Gordon to him, bro. And TJ Warren would have been solid. Like I said, Bot Don would have been solid, bro. Clint Capella, Maxi Cleaver, Marcus Smart down the board, bro. But I think we were going to be good with Julius Randle backing up Blake Griffin for a couple seasons. Until we get to an NBA title, man. So we do want to bring, definitely bring Chris Middleton back, bro. I'm hoping the salary cap jumps a little bit this offseason so we can at least have a little money to spend in free agency. I don't think we should have any qualifying offers. I will qualify Tyler Zeller. He could be a decent trade, please. And do we have any money? No, we do not. <laughs> we have enough money to bring back Chris Middleton. I mean, Trevor Ariza, which I definitely want to do. Um, and then after that, we'll start looking at players we might want to pull in, man. But again, we want to try to keep this core together. We are probably going to look to move Chris Middleton up to the starting lineup. Kwame Brown would be a decent death pick. Darko Militic, we have a good backup center. We just drafted Julius Randle. Leandro Barbosa wouldn't be horrible. Ben Gordon wouldn't be horrible. And I will bring in Ben Gordon just so we can have more shooting guards. And again, if we need to bring somebody in, we'll be good with that. But let's head up to the next season. So I did go ahead and re-sign Brooke Lopez and Rudy Gay. Chris Middleton is officially better than Trevor Ariza. I don't know if I want to keep Chris Middleton on the bench just to have the scoring. Or do I want to trade Trevor Ariza for a better defensive like player? His, his shooting splits are horrible. Chris Middleton's not much better, but his shooting splits are horrible, man. We may look to move Trevor Ariza in like our first round pick. Top, mm, I, like, I think that next pick is going to be pretty good. Maybe that Lakers pick. What is the next first round that we can actually move where that has the protections on it? So we'll throw an uh, unprotected 2019 pick. But I do want to try to get an actual good defensive shooting guard, bro. That's really the goal right now. Bogdanovich, I mean, Bojan definitely would not be that. Marcus Morris off to the bench wouldn't be horrible, though. We could have had the chance to draft Marcus Morris, and I think I'm going to go ahead and sign, like, trade for him in this just because of the fact that he's going to be a little bit better defensively, which is what we really need right now. The back end of our bench is not great, but we're not going to go 10 deep. The rest of this roster is really good, though. You got Chris Paul, Chris Middleton, Rudy Gay, Blake Griffin, Brooke Lopez, Chris Kamen, Dennis Schroeder, Julius Randle, and Marcus Smart off the bench, man. Like, this should be the title team we had this season. D-Rose with the three-peat. Nikolai Jokic with the Raptors here, bro. Lorraine <laughs> Corey. Laura Collins, I can't talk, bro. The Lakers were pretty good this year, bro. Okay, let's see, man. Derrick Rose, John Wall, first team. 
Blake Griffin taking team, and we don't see a Chris Paul sighting again. As the Clippers were a one seed again, they're taking on the Thunder. It's going to be a hard matchup, bro, and we're probably going to lose to the AFC. They had six players, it looks like, score over 10 points a game. You got a, you got 12 and 5 from Chris, I mean, from Dennis Schroeder. Chris came in them coming off the bench are already pretty good, man. Brooke Lopez and Blake Griffin are statistically, you know, the best players on this team. Chris Paul ain't been cooking, and yeah, I said they're gonna lose to the AC because let me guess that AC still has Kevin Durant, Russell Westbrook, and James Harden, and so maybe I think maybe the, the Clippers are just cursed. You know, maybe that's just what it is. I don't I don't think there's any type of help that can save them. We go give it one more all season and see what we can do, man. So we have the eighth best odds because of the Brooklyn pick that we got, bro. Let's see what we end up. If it's top three, they get it. It ends up at number eight. They get the 8th overall pick. We get 28. Maybe we look to make a move up, bro. Maybe we make, look, make a look, move, make a, make a, look to make a move up. Is there any type of players in this, this draft that I would want? Przingis? Mm, no. I mean, we have Blake at small for it. And then outside of them, are there Devin Booker? Maybe. But we have a good shooting guard right now. It's like we wouldn't really need him. The rest of this drive really isn't good, but there's nobody at eight that I really would want either. So it's like, what do we do with at this pick? Carl Anthony Towns, D'Lo would be a decent backup point guard, but we already have Dennis Schroeder in that spot. Maybe we can turn, I mean, I don't know what we do here. I don't know what we do here. Maybe we go with D-Book. We're gonna let the drive play out at least the first three picks and then we'll make our decision from there, man. So first overall, probably gonna be Brazingas. It is going to be Przingis to the Dallas Mavericks, man. I've never seen Przingis in the Dallas Mavericks jersey before. Let's see what they look like. How did the Magic get two top four picks? I mean, top five picks. First off, man, they're going to trade Gordon Hayward in the second overall pick. Cool. Justice Winslow goes second overall. <laughs> Maybe D-Book is the answer here. Third overall, you're going to get Carl Anthony Towns. I really don't want anybody in this draft that can help us. Maybe we look to move Rudy Gay. Like, we give Rudy Gay number eight. What can we get? Omar Caspi, but we don't need him. Monte Ellis is coming off a 22-point-per-game season. We don't really need him either. Kyle, Kyle Lowry, Kenneth Boyd here. Again, we don't really need either one of those. Josh Smith and Joe Johnson. That might be it. That might be it. There's some other decent offers here. But if we can get Josh Smith and Joe Johnson, we really finna create that Brooklyn super team over again <laughs> and make the same mistakes that Brooklyn did, bro. But you know what? I'm gonna I'm take the risk. We get Josh Smith and Joe Johnson. We're win now mode, bro. We need to win this season. Team Blair options here. You're gonna see, yeah, we're definitely picking both of those up. We're in win now mode. I do not care who's out there. Tyler Zeller, we're gonna keep bringing you back until you no longer can get brought back. LeBron, we ain't got enough to offer you. I wish and whatever. I mean, let's offer him this and see if he takes it. Nah, bro. But we don't really need anybody here. Like Matt Barnes, maybe could be a death pickup. Sean Williams, we just had, but we're so deep at every position, man. Let's head into this next season. The team we built is absurd. You have Chris Paul, you have Blake Griffin. First off, can we even sign Chris Paul back to a contract? Yeah, he's gonna have to test free agency. We ain't got the money to resign him, bro. Josh, we have Chris Paul, Josh Smith, Brooke Lopez, Joe Johnson, Chris Middleton, Dennis Schroeder, Marcus Smart, Chris Kamen. If we do not win it this season, there is something seriously broken with this <laughs> with this resume, bro. We're gonna keep Chris Kamen on the roster just to use him in, in case we need to trade for somebody at the trade deadline, bro. But Literally, look at the roster we built. Joe Johnson, Chris Paul, Josh Smith, Blake Griffin, Brooke Lopez, Chris Middleton, Dennis Schroeder, Julius Randle, Marcus Smart. I don't know how we made the money work, but hey, let's get into it. My boy D Rose gets another MVP, man. Kristoff Porzingis gets a what is it? Ricky of the year. We didn't need him, so I ain't gonna say no. Six man of the year, we get Zach Levine. Come on, y'all. I just need my boys to be good. Blake Griffin, boom, we good there. Anybody else make an NBA team? This team is loaded, though. Josh Smith was on the all-defensive team, so he's going to be our defensive help there. I'm pretty sure nobody had a crazy scoring because, again, this team was loaded. Look at this team, bro. Come on. Look at the team I've built for y'all. Look what I brought y'all. Look what you. Look what I've delivered to you. You just got to win it all. The clear, I mean, the Kings, bro, don't lose to the AC again. They finally did not lose to the AC for the second straight season. This is going to be a tough one for them to win, and they lose to the to the Warriors in seven games by four points. 
And it, DeAndre Jordan came back to hunt him, bro. This is this is this is not this is not how I look. <laughs> this is not how I plan on this going. I'm gonna give this one more season, bro. This team is so good. They have to win one, bro. We have two free agents. We have to resign. We have more than two free agents. We have to resign. All right. Funny thing enough, we have some money free here. We don't have. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, we can bring back free agent like Chris Paul, right? Who do we already have on the contract? We have Blake Griffin. We have Jer Josh Smith, Brooke Lopez, Dennis Schroeder. We're barely off enough to offer. Like, if we trade him for absolutely nothing, we can offer Derrick Rose a max contract. We can offer Derrick Rose a max contract. We're going to do it. And I, I know somebody's not going to be like, well, this would happen. Look, we're going to do it because I want to do it, bro. <laughs> we also have to bring back Chris Middleton. I don't know where he's listed at right cur currently right now. I don't know if we even have enough money to try to go after him. Maybe he decided he didn't even want to, like, take an offer from us. And we're not going to get near Rose. All right, now we have to try to pivot back and try to get <laughs> Chris Paul. <laughs> We have to try to pivot back and like, hey, Chris Paul, we know we just offered Derrick Rose that contract, but uh, do you want to come play for us again? We're going to. We can go over the cap to sign him, so it is what it is. He, hopefully he signs. He's not going to sign either, is he? No, we lose Chris Paul. Kevin Durant's still here. We got to get at least one of these dudes, bro. We got to get at least one of them. Team player, boom. There you go. Come on, Katie. Kevin Durant signs with Phoenix. This, this went horribly wrong. We'll bring back Chris Middleton. We'll bring back old ass Joe Johnson. And we're going to have to just rock out from there, bro. Come on, Joe. Joe Chris Middleton doesn't want to sign with us either. <laughs> bro, we essentially just lost our entire team in one offseason. We, we were having money troubles, bro, so it is what it is. We'll bring in, like, Jared Jack and somebody to replace Chris Paul. Chris Paul really hasn't been too crazy this entire video, so maybe Jared Jack can fill his shoes, and let's run his back for one more season. Dennis Schroeder, Joe Johnson, Josh Smith, Blake Griffin, Brooke Lopez. I mean, we still have a really good team with Chris Kamen, Marcus Smart coming off the bench. We're going to move Chris Kamen and whatever we have left. Maybe, you know, maybe Chris Paul was holding us back. I don't think that's what it is. <laughs> but Chris Paul is a known choker, so we just go. I'm going to put that out there, bro. He is a known. He's known to choke. And I, I'm going to just put that out there. So he is known to choke, bro. And maybe he was holding us back. We'll bring we'll bring in Bismack Biyombo. We do need more of a defensive center coming off of the bench, man. So this would be the lineup that we're going to be out here running, man. And hopefully this team can lead us to some type of success. We struggling a little bit without our lead point guard, bro. And guess who's putting up 26 a game? Welcome to the team, Kimball Walker. Welcome, welcome to the welcome to the team, Kimball Walker. Market Smart, what are you putting up? Six and two? Then the shooter, what are you putting up? 16 and 7. Do I want to switch the shooter over to a shooting guard? Nah, I will let him lead the bench. But we had to give up a young player, but we had to shake some up, bro. We weren't really progressing the way I liked it. I would like for us to. And what's better than going to get a dude averaging 26 to replace Kevin to replace Chris Paul? You love to see it, man. So let's see how we finish out the season. I didn't even notice the Lakers stole like Derrick Rose from us, man. I just seen EI sign somewhere else. But it was good though, because Dennis Schroeder came off the bench averaging 18 and 7, bro. And we got the coach of the year at 58 and 24. And we had a really good bounce back year, man. Clippers, again, his scoring went down a little bit once he came over, but he was great for us. Josh Smith is another all-defensive team, man. This is before Josh Smith would have lost his mind and just fell off a cliff. You love to see these type of things. Dennis Schroeder, bro, Brooke Lopez. This is the season. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. We out of the first round. We out of the second round. And we on to the NBA Finals. Let's go. This is why you always do one more season. Come on. 2-1. No. No, not like this. Not like that. <laughs> At least I got him to the Finals, man. So, That'll be me rebuilding the, the Lob City Clippers, man. The only person left from the team, just like in real life, would end up being Blake Griffin, man. This team would look very different, but I at least got them to the NBA Finals, which they were able to do in real life. Let me know what y'all think down below.